Hey guys, it's Bao here, and today I want to talk about the Elysian Realm. The Elysian Realm is an important source for crystals per week. It can give up to 500 crystals per week depending on the difficulty that you clear. It will be unlocked at level 50 in the challenge tab. The great thing about Elysian Realm is that you can clear it with F2P characters and gears, so you don't need to actually spend crystals to get the maximum amount of crystals from this mode. However, full disclosure, it will be easier to clear Elysian Realm with newer Valkyries. The first thing you should do if you haven't played Elysian Realm before is go to Quick Start in the Shadow Sequence and then ch just choose your favorite character that's on here and then play through whatever difficulty you can. Clearing any stage will give materials that are used to upgrade Valkyries and buffs. It also gives currency that you can use in the shop. The great thing about Shadow Sequence also is that they give you Trial Valkyries that you can use. If your Valkyrie is not currently geared enough, you can use the Trial Valkyrie instead, which has preset gears. Before starting the battle, make sure to read all the buffs that are given to you at default. So these are called Elysian Signets. These Signets are specialized for the Valkyrie that you're currently using. These often completely change the way you play Valkyries in the Elysian Realm. For example, here is me running a non stellar Outburst build on Thelema. Notice how I'm not activating with the Astral Ring at all. My gameplay is completely different than how I'd normally play Thelema. And there's also our unique effects like this where I summon clones to attack the enemy. So make sure to actually adapt your gameplay with these Elysian Signets. Notice how with these Signets, I get more ultimate damage as well as double the Bombard Meter on Hersher's Thunder. There are also general Signets that every single Valkyrie can get. For example, Hersher Thunder has Evasion Signets, which means that after she evades, she does more damage. So here when I'm ulting, you guys will notice that I actually have two Bombard Meters instead of one. This is not normal, and this is because of the Elysian Signets. Also notice when I end my ultimate, there's multiple green lightning that falls in the sky after I finish. This is also due to the Elysian Signets, specifically the Blessing of Narukami, which says that it releases 8 lightnings after finishing your ultimate. Now you guys might notice these two support Valkyries on the right. Those Valkyries can't actually be switched into, but you can tap on them to give you guys some buffs. Once you guys actually finish some runs, you'll get this Stone of Choice. The Stone of Choice can be used to upgrade the Diverging Paths, which can be used for Valkyrie upgrades and shop upgrades. You guys will also unlock a currency called Dying Kindling, which you guys can use to unlock dialogues with characters as well as get crystals. This is important because it also gives you some new signets to use. Finally, there's the Valkyrie upgrades. Every week you get a flawless key to unlock a new Valkyrie in the Lacian Realm. Once you play through stages, you'll get currency to upgrade Valkyries. This gives them buffs as well as buffs their Lacian signets. Additionally, you also get crystals for upgrading them. Deep Sequence is like Spiral Abyss and Genshin Impact. It resets every week and gives you 500 crystals if you beat it on the difficulty Abstinence or above. Full disclosure, it will be pretty hard to beat Abstinence without full Diverging Path upgrades. An important difference between Shadow Sequence and Deep Sequence is that you need to choose your own signets and buffs. There are 18 floors in total with 4 bosses. There's one boss on floor 8, floor 12, floor 17, and a final Flame Chaser boss on floor 18 which you choose. Floor 4, 7, 11, and 15 also have a little time challenge where if you beat the time challenge, you get double the signets. There's a cool website that gives build guides for every single Valkyrie. However, it might not make sense, so I'm gonna try my best to explain everything to you guys. I'll use the Lima to show how I'd follow this guide. So first, I'm gonna copy the cost and effect by scrolling down and then choosing the cost that they told me to use. Next, I'm gonna copy the support that they chose. They chose BKE, which is Bright Night Celsius, and then VKE, which is Vermilion Night Eclipse, and then finally, I'm going to copy their sigils. These are unlocked through the Remembrance Vessel, so you might not have all of them yet. Before I go on, I want to showcase a really fast discrepancy um, on the website. For the guide, the signets are classified by the actual Flame Chaser's name. Uh, so for example, it's Eden, Sue, Griseo, Kalpaz, etc. But in the actual game, when you're choosing signets, um, they're called signets of Helix, or like Discipline, or Stars. These are not the actual Flame Chaser's names. So if you're not sure how to discern which signet is which, like which one is Eden, um, I'm going to leave a link below to this website. If you go to the signets, you guys can see what they're actually associated with. So Eden is gold. Um, and so right now we're hovering over Discipline, and Discipline is actually Eponia. So yeah, really quick uh, highlight. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try to get my Elysian signets I want. So I need to get Waltz as my start, which is fine because you just reroll on the first floor until you get it. And then afterwards, I'm going to want Fine Clothes as my second Elysian Signet, ideally from my second floor, uh, because it's marked as first, which means it's a priority. Uh, so first means priority, and second means not as I have a priority. So I'm going to keep quitting and retrying until I finally get an Elysian Signet as my second uh, Signet, and then I'm going to choose Fine Clothes when I get the chance. Now, not every character has to do this for the record, it's just that because for this Astral Ring build, you really want these two Elysian Signets from the start, which makes it kind of mandatory to roll for the Elysian Signet for your second floor. Now, if you're not sure what combos to do for these Elysian Realm builds, um, there's little Elysian Realm combo guides at the bottom of every character, so definitely just use those if you're getting stuck. 
All right, so here I got fine clothes, and then I'm gonna start building towards my full Eden path. I hopefully want to get three to four Eden signets before floor five, but if I can't, I can also build towards Sue at the same time. Um, really just aim for your top two priority signets uh, in the beginning floors. So the guide also shows what signets you want specifically. So for example, for the Eden ones, I want the damage boost ones, and fortunately I get one of those here. I don't actually get lucky enough to get an Eden signet, but a Bodhi one does come up or a Sue one does come up. I can settle for that one instead of burning a reroll. However, if you don't get lucky and your first, second, or third priority signets don't come up, then just burn a reroll to try to get one of them. So as you can see in this floor, since this is a double bonus round, I actually get to choose two Bodhi signets, which is really good. Because once you get three of one signet, you'll get specialized signets, which I'll show later. Also on floor four of five, there will be a shop that shows up. You definitely take this shop if you already have enough of your highest priority signets. It's just that I did not have enough Eden's yet, so I didn't take the shop. But basically in the shop, you can buy or upgrade signets as well as change your sigils to prioritize a different path. So right here, I got my third Bodhi signet. This will unlock my Nexus signet. There will always only be two Nexus signets per path. Um, so in this case, the guys have to take Bodhi 1 or Su 1, which means to take the first Nexus. So here I finally unlock the Nexus for my Eden Signets, and after that I'm done. I don't want to take any more Eden Signets, and I'll probably pivot to either getting um, some Su Enhanced Signets or Kaseo or Kalpaz. So you might be wondering why I don't get Eden's Enhanced Signets, and that's just because the guide tells you to, and also because they're kind of bad in general. Um, so basically just take Enhanced Signets if the guide tells you to. Don't unnecessarily take Enhanced Signets if the guide doesn't say anything about them. So here I get to the shop. And what you just want to do with the shop is definitely just upgrade all your poor signets and then change your sigil. Um, so in this case, since I already have enough of Sue and Eden signets, I change it to Griseo's sigils, which makes her signets appear more often. And then I look for any Griseo signets to buy. And then afterwards, I basically just upgrade all my core damage signets from the Eden one because that's my highest priority signets. And then here I finish Griseo's Nexus Signet. And at this point, once you have three Nexus Signets, you're basically in the end game. Uh, for most new Valkyries, you can basically clear all the bosses and stages from here without any issue. Um, but if you're using any older Valkyries, like the Hersher of Thunder or Hersher of Flame Scion, you'll ideally want to get a few more Nexus Signets. Now my plan here was to start building towards my fourth Nexus Signet, which is a Kalpus Signet. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't actually get lucky with Kalpus at all throughout the run. Uh, so this is actually the only Kalpus signet you'll see I'll get. Um, so something that sucks about the Elysian Realm is that if you buy a signet, you can't actually unlock a Nexus through buying your third signet. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't buy signets to help you reach your third signet. If I bought two Kalpus signets earlier and then I rolled this Kalp Kalpus signet, uh, I would have gone his Nexus signet. But unfortunately, I can't buy my way through to a Nexus signet all the way through though. So just like full disclosure, I don't actually unlock any more Nexus signets after this, but like I said earlier, if you're using an older Valkyrie, you do want to unlock four. Anyways, I'm going to skip the footage ahead to the final bosses because there's not really much of a power bump after this point. So if you got lucky, then you should be able to basically finish all these bosses in like 10 seconds. I already finished everything I need to say, so I'm going to let this footage play out to show you guys how fast these bosses can be cleared. Let's go! 